Does anybody want to play a game? Yeah. No, because you're stupid. <laughs> I grew up in a family that my father was 23 years military. And that's the normal com conversation th that we would have. Um, I don't know if anybody else has uh, experience. Uh, quite a few, I'm sure, unfortunately, have the experience of, of having families that communicate less than adequately, I would say. Um, I know that in my life, I learned how to communicate later in my life by my family's reactions to me. Uh, so as you could probably tell, I was rather a poor communicator. My relationships were sour. I was mean. I was unfriendly. Um, I was the guy that slept in alleys. And here I am today speaking in front of a classroom full of people. And while I did learn some, some horrible communication practices, I also learned what worked. What I'm going here today to tell you about is um, you and I statements, how to use them effectively to grow families together closer, to become more of a part of your community. Um, I've got three, this is actually um, a picture of a girl I don't know, and, uh, but, but she's being yelled at, you know. That's, that's kind of the feeling tone that I always had in my family. You know, left out, not a part of, less than. And I don't believe that people are supposed to be that way. According to the Center for Disease Control, almost 39,000 children are committing suicide yearly. And I think a large part of that is because of that, that feeling of self-worth self -worth has been destroyed. They're feeling neglected, uncared for, and I don't think that's right. If we could save one human life from having to take their own, then you know, we're doing the world a huge service. So my topic is you and I. I want to convince you guys to use these words effectively in your communications. Uh, I'm going to tell you about you as an attack word. You is a, is a horrible, horrible position statement, you know, that, that places you before me and not in a very friendly tone. I'm going to go as, as the I statements, you know, I feel, you know, becoming part of, you know, I have feelings, and I'm not going to say you know. Also, you as an, a word of encouragement, bonding. This word is helpful in, you know, bringing companies and people together. Um, my, so I go into my first um, topic, which is you as an attack statement. You are the worst human beings I've ever met. Indeed. You didn't take the garbage out. You left the lights on. You want to know why I'm having this conversation with you right now? I thought you'd be a man. This would never happen. See, what happens is you, all, you place you first. You is an attack statement. It automatically puts another person on the defensive. It's not very fair because she has a right to have feelings and exist as an independent human being. But I attacked her. I attacked her even though it wasn't a, an automatic you are... Uh, the biggest piece of junk on earth, but the implied statement is you don't know what you're doing, you can't remember to turn the lights off, you can't remember to do what is expected of you, and it's, it, it, it lacks that, that worth. I take away her humanity when I, when I attack critically. Um, that's how I felt on a daily basis in my family. I was a good student, it's up to a point, I, was a I had a decent character, but we weren't allowed to be able to, to feel, except when we were attacked. The feelings of anger, that resentment, that stuff that, that brings back. And I know a lot of families are the same way. Um, according to, um, what's her name? Does anybody know? Her name is Dr. Heidi Halverson. She's a social psychologist, and she writes articles for Psychology Today. And what she states is that we assume people's feelings. When we use you statements, we assume that people understand that that was expected of them. We're not clear. We're not concise in how we speak. 
We have to be clear and concise. We have to move into more of the I statements. I feel, I feel hurt when you don't take the garbage out because it leaves the mess that I have to come home to. It's not a direct attack. It's, it's more of, this is how I feel. Joe, I feel really sad when you don't pay attention to me because I really miss you. That, 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 goes a lot better, that goes along a lot better than, you make me feel neglected. You know, I'm not attacking him. I'm stating a fact. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm stating a fact. And it leaves an option to con re reconcile rather than, you don't treat me well. I don't like to live my life that way. I don't like to attack people. I would rather build relationships. And I use that with other you statements, the words of encouragement. I'm moving into the use. This is my last subject because this is what I, I feel to be the most important. Christina, you are a valued member of this classroom and I appreciate it when you're here and I really enjoy your speeches. You can be used as a validation. Um, people are important. And they need to be, be told that they're important because this allows them to grow. That feeling of encouragement, that feeling of praise is so important as, as we grow as human beings. If we're always put down with those negative you statements, then we become those statements. We become those statements. And I, in my life, do not want to see that. I don't want to see that for other human beings. It's so important to me that everybody has a chance to grow. Christina has gotten up here and she's done a couple of speeches and done some wonderful speeches. She deserves to know that. She needs to know specifically that we appreciate it or I appreciate it because these are the things that, that prompt her to continue on, to grow, to keep going, to also encourage other people. We're human beings. We got to act like human beings by being humane. That's treating people humanely. So I went over three things. I went over you as an attack statement. Boo! Went over I feeling statements. I feel when behavior and because. I also went over you as an encouragement statement. I feel that each one of us has an opportunity to go out, not just in our own relationships, but in our communities, and practice these principles, practice these ways of speaking to, to bring us all closer. I am so thankful that I was in this class with, with this particular group of people because each one of you has, has lent something to, to my education and encouraged me to go further with these I statements, with these you statements, investigating why and how we can live together. You statements are mainly based in, in thinking, cognitive thought. I statements are based in feeling. Go with your feelings. Forget your thinking. It's, we're human. So go out there and spread that humanity. And with that, I thank you. <laughs> Bam! References, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>